coffee and shit all over the place. And ish. Coffee and ish. Okay. Well, oh, well, all right, all right, all right. Welcome, welcome to the jungle. Okie dokie, hokey pokey. So, your girl broke a nail. Because, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so this is what happened. Um, I was about to go take my mom home from staying with me for 24 hours to go and uh, drop her off home. Duh, I cannot speak. And I went to go grab the dog's holster. He's 60-something pounds. And it went bloop. It didn't completely come off. It was hanging off by the edge. So as you can see here, I'm going to use a good evening, dear love. From UAE, hey, my way AMS, how are you? So as you can see, I don't really have a whole lot. I'm going to use the forms. So I don't have a whole lot to grab. So I'm going to kind of create a nail. And um, I'm going to create a faux tip. I was going to do a tip and then cut it down, but I decided to do like a poly gel tip. And it gives me a good, um, it gives me, blah, blah. it'll let me try out this McCart. Um, clear poly gel so I've been wanting to try this out so it gives me a good excuse to do that and what I will do this time is actually use the forms that actually come with a poly gel kit so I can either do it with this kind of form small form or this this is completely impromptu so I don't have everything completely organized I might I might do this one has a little bit of a curve to it um, then I can, or I can do it with the form. You know what I'm going to do? I'll do it with the form. I need to use these anyway. Do, 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 do. So what I'll do is, oh my gosh, I got shit everywhere. I'll use the form. I think I can use this form. Let's see first. Where's the little backing for it? Let me see how it does with this form. If it fits pretty good, what I'll do is use this. If not, I will go in with the... Um... I may go in with the other one. I haven't decided yet. So this looks... Um, this looks okay. I just... It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be enough to where I can fit the poly gel on there. So I'm going to go and see if I can get this poly gel to stick to this form. It looks pretty good. I need a very small nail. And I think that may help it grip a little bit better. So we'll see. Let me get a poly gel a nail thing here and some alcohol. Alcohol! I probably could stand a base. Where's the base at? Not here. That's brilliant. Brilliant. Let's do a base. Please tell me this is that to top coat. So what I'm gonna do is do this base. I do have a McCart kit. I just haven't opened it and I don't want to do all of that. This should work just as good. And I'm just going to put it right around the. Um... Oh, good God. Woo. Tip of the nail. Some people will cure it. Um, you don't have to, but I'll probably go on ahead and do it because uh, I'm not going to. I, I don't think it hurts none. But I can't 100% speak to that. I'm plugging up my little UV lamp here. And I'm probably going to do about a few seconds. So, like I said, I'm creating a little bit more of a nail extension. So that way I can get a better grip on the nail. Or, and I'm just experimenting to see if that may work better for me. Um, my nails are really short right now because the previous set that I had on, not the poly gel one. Uh, but the um, the professional set I had on, they're very strong. Like her stuff is does not fall off. 
and um, it did a lot of damage to my nails simply because I wasn't as patient and then I over drilled the nails so that had nothing to do with the nail techs uh, professionalism or anything else like that or uh, the quality of the work it was just the nails were really hard to get off and then on top of that um, I over drilled my nails so my nails are a little bit more on the damage side and this was the nail that I popped off it's like in pristine condition if I wanted to I could be ratchet and glue it back on but that's not bad so with this nail, I'm going to do a ombre with it. Let's see. So, okay, I cured it a little bit. Now I'm going to go in. I need some alcohol. I'm going to pour some of this for slip. It's rubbing alcohol. It works amazing. Um with the poly gel as a slip solution they do have slip solutions specifically for poly gel but everybody typically likes just the regular um well regular poly uh the regular alcohol they don't really like the slip that's provided with it maybe that may change one day but it's inexpensive it's a dollar it's probably some places 50 cents so um i'd rather get that than to pay ten dollars for the slip solution so right now I'm trying to get this shit open. Oh my gosh. Look out. I try to use as many tools. Y'all probably like this chick is struggling. Now I'm getting now I'm getting there. Okay, what about this one? I have so many tweezers. I try to, as a person who wears long nails, try to use as many tools as possible to take stress off of my nails, simply because I I want to prolong the nails as much as possible. And then my nails are extremely damaged underneath. So I don't think they have as much of a good grip on them as a healthy set of nails. So I've got to, that's just me. That again, that has nothing to do um, with whoever did my nails previously or it was just how I took care of the nails, and I really need to give it about a month off. But uh, in the meantime, oh wow, I just really screwed this up. Look at this crap right here. Do, 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 do. Okay, that was gross. Okay, wow, that's got a pretty big opening. So this is the McCart Clear. I just brought this one because it's supposed to be a really good clear. I'm going to try to put a little dab. Okay, I don't need much. Well, that went on pretty smooth compared to the Gershon. The Gershon, the one that I that I showed you, that brand, the base. This one really, really smooth. The Gershon one's a little bit harder sometimes when you put it on the base. So I'm going to use... Is this stuck like for real? Jesus Christ. It's a little bit on the firmer side. Oh my gosh. I don't know what just dropped between my legs there. Hopefully, we'll see. It's a little sticky. All right, let's see. I've got, I didn't clean this out very well, did I? I did not. Oh, good God. Some residue. I didn't clean this out. That's my bad. I should have put it in another container. I'm sorry. Get off of it. Get. Get. Go on now. Okay. I'm just going to do a little bit. So this is on my non-dominant hand. This by far, for someone who is right-handed, this is hard. So this takes a little bit of practice. It's getting a little bit better, feeling a little bit more organic the more that I do it. Um, but I usually start with this side first anyway when I do any set because this is because uh, I'm doing it with my left hand and I'm right-handed. So I spend a little bit more time. 
with this one than I do any other. Wow, that went on really nice. I'm a little impressed. Okay, my card. I'm a little impressed. I do have, like I said, a McCart kit. It's in purple. And I'll probably do that around the end of March, middle of March. After St. Patrick's Day, I'll probably go in. Um, I'm sorry, April. I'll do it April. I'll go in the first week of April and do it in the purple. Do a one side purple acrylic, acrylic and the other side purple uh, poly gel from McCart. And that way it's Easter colors. I'm trying to be our spring colors. And then I'll do yellow, I think, after that. My next set will be yellow. So that is looking most excellent. Ew, I don't know what that is that flew in there. That's so gross, whatever that is. What is that? Something that shouldn't be there. Damn it. That's what happens when you don't clean the bowl. Okay, I'm sorry. Y'all can see that? Probably not. I'm sorry. All right, so... I'm going in with the alcohol. I'm trying to place the poly gel where I want it. I'll probably go back in with a little bit more poly gel. So you can barely see it. It's very little. I'm really liking this clear. It went on really smooth. It didn't, I didn't need a lot of alcohol to move it. So um, with the Gershon set, I, I needed a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna make this a little bit thicker and then I'll just wipe off any excess there. Uh, okay, now it's getting a little bit more sticky. The tube opening is kind of big, but I kind of like it. I don't know. It's kind of growing up. This is poly gel. Do, 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 do. Going back in there. Try to show y'all as much as possible. Again, I am right-handed. I'm not left-handed. So this takes this part's gonna take me a little bit. I'll probably take a little bit down the center since I have a lot of damage there and that might that poly gel may help to protect it. I'm gonna go down some more, make sure it gets Gotta be careful of that. I'm trying to make sure it gets right there in that crevice. It's gonna start sticking. That's when I'm gonna go. This act reacts very well to alcohol, which is good. It's super easy to manipulate. Sorry, I have to get a little bit closer here. Let's just see what I'm doing. Really, I just want a little bit of a nail. And if you're not good with the forms, you don't have to use this method. You can use what comes with it and just put as little as you need and you can cut it down. You do not need to go this far. I got a lot of alcohol on this because I'm used to the Gershwin. There you go. I think that's about it okay I'm looking from both sides it looks good I'm gonna go in cook it about 
two minutes. And hopefully we got a nice little tip going on there. And then that way that'll help me with the forms a little bit. Poly gel is really soft, really nice and gentle on the natural nail. That's what I really like about poly gel. I think they're just as durable depending on how hard you are on your hands. Uh, because I did use the poly gel on my right hand, which is my dominant hand. I only want, the, uh, I had a little bit of lifting on one of them, but after that, all the rest of them were fine. So they can be used just as much as um, acrylic. They're just a little bit softer and you may have to just be a little bit more cautious. I think they're, I think the acrylic is stronger. Uh, I think that uh, your nails will grow quicker with the poly gel because the poly gel is a lot lighter. It smells nice. Um, easy to get off the nail, dissolves off the nail when you soak it in acetone. And um, even if you have to pull a little bit of it up, like the residue, it does not damage the nail like the acrylic will do. So um, with the acrylic, you will have to be patient and really soak your nails and really sand off as much as you can without over stressing out the nails. So what I did for that, I got a regular drill. The drill works really good. It's a $25 drill. But I found that it would it would stop you know, if I, I press too hard onto the nail. So I got a more professional drill coming. Hopefully that will help expedite the process of taking off the acrylics. Um, if it doesn't, it doesn't. But I don't have a problem with the with the the drill bit that I have now. It's really really good. I recommend it, especially for beginners and you don't know if you're going to use it. So it's in my um, Amazon shop. I do not have it listed right now in my live, but in my previous video with my nails, I do have an Amazon shop showing you everything that I use. But that drill is really good if you're just trying to get into acrylics. You don't want them as long. And I think it'll be fine overall. It'll just take a little bit more time. It'll just be a little bit longer of a process to get your nails um, um, shaped and drilled off and everything but it's a really good drill so i'm really excited to try another one that's coming thursday hopefully it'll be here thursday and i'll be able to you know saw off these nails by um march within 15 minutes and then that way i can get down to the nitty gritty and do a whole new set um i wasn't going to do a whole new set i was just going to do a fill because these took forever but i decided that i need to have the practice and I'm just going to go on ahead and do a whole new set. I'm going to do green acrylic uh, for March. And with a little bit of crystalline. I'm going to keep it simple this time and not overcomplicate it. And then I'm going to go in the following month and do purple. I'll do purple because it kind of goes in with the Easter thing. Maybe even purple and yellow. That might be really cute. And I'm going to use one side acrylic and one side... Um, one side acrylic and one side... Uh, poly gel poly gel so i'm gonna put it in here for i usually do it two minutes usually the poly gel will have a little bit of a sticky residue that's real easy take a little bit of a cotton round or a paper towel go in with a little bit of alcohol take it rinse it off and then be done uh and and kind of wipe it down like a wipe like a top coat wipe it off and then you're able to you can go on about your business that's what I would recommend because all I'm trying to do is form a nail. This is my first time doing like a poly gel with acrylic on top. So it's going to be real interesting. I am covering it with uh, color acrylic. So you won't be able to see like the poly gel whatever underneath. This is coming off. These forms kind of freaking suck. Just a bit. Okay, so this is what we got. Looks scary. But that's okay. You go in, you cut it off, you shape it. It's not the end of the world. I, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm just looking for something that's a little bit, um, a little bit of a nail. A little bit of a nail grip so it'll grip a little better. Ugh. It's almost done. Perfect. Let's see. If I screwed this up, or this is going to work. So, what I'm going to do is take this. 
Um, let's see, my chat is on. Good evening, dear. I love you from you. How long do you do you how long do you do your own nails? I'm just starting all over. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see your comments. So what happened? Um, I've been doing my own nails here recently. Uh for about um I'd say a month. And I have a dummy hand that I practice on that helps. So about a month I've been doing my own nails. So I see right here, this is just garbaggio. Uh, poly gel is very user friendly. Um, if you, it just takes time with your non-dominant hand. You know what I mean? It just, it's just going to take time. I said, but um, it's, it can be frustrating. Walk away and then come back to it. I think that's a really good um, base there. Is it too? I don't want it to be super uh, long. And I'm supposed to, I'm going to cheat here and use a little bit of that to kind of wipe it off. So it's not sticky. Poly gel is kind of like that. You don't think it's set, but it is set. It just needs, it has a sticky top coat sometimes. So that's the trick about poly gel. If you're like, it's still sticky and it's not curing, it's probably cured that first minute or two. You just have to um, wipe off the sticky part. So I'm going to go back and see kind of where the thin spots are. Again, I just need enough to make a nail. This actually turned out pretty decent. This actually turned out pretty decent. And what I would do is, um, this is, doesn't take a lot. I'm going to go in with, I can never tell which one's grittier with this and kind of uh, shape it a little bit so it's a little bit smooth poly gel is very soft so you don't need a whole lot of pressure with this the acrylic once it sets it's harder than rocks it's really hard to unless you've got a really good sander a really good drill it's it can be a little bit of a bit of but to shape what I would suggest if you're starting, um, use uh, follow as many YouTube tutorials as possible. Practice. If you can get a dummy hand, dummy hands on Amazon are about 25 bucks. Uh, if you want the really fancy ones, there then that's like $100 and up. Again, that's what you can afford, what's in your budget, how seriously you're going to take this. Uh, you know, uh, the silicone hands, I want to get one. But um, right now, I'm, I'm just good. I'm trying to get a little bit at a time. Let's see. I may go in with the drill to try to sand some of this off. Just trying to get a good shape going on here. Because I don't want a whole lot of poly gel. It looks like a lot clumped up over here, which is good. I'd rather it be over there than not. So right now I'm just trying to shape down as much as I can so I don't want it to be extremely um, thick. Just enough to where it blends in with the natural nail. And it gives me a little bit, it's a little bit heavier on that side. So I look at it from both sides so you'll see me kind of getting close. Um, Again, it doesn't nail does not have to be extremely perfect. This has to be close. Oh, look at the cute little itty bitty nails. Uh, one day I will do short nails. Um, just to appease the short nail gods. Because uh, I do want to do these little short stilettos. And I will be doing short nails probably on my daughter. So I'll probably be doing it with the poly gel. So I'm really excited about that. 
and they'll probably be like this short. So I just created pretty much a nail bed. That's pretty even. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit here. There you go. That one came off good. Because I don't want it to be all of the nail. So I will be putting acrylic on top of it. You know what I'm saying? So I need something to adhere to. While I'm here, I'm going to make sure I get those cuticles. That is key. All that hard work, no matter what you do, if you don't prep it, get those cuticles and there's oil on there you just it won't set so pretty much there you go i made my own little finger here there you go my own little nail perfect it looks really freaking good so there you go I'm not flipping everybody off i've made a nail for myself so that way my a tip could hello how are you one Juanita. So I've made that nail with poly gel and now I'm going to do the acrylic part of it. Great. I'm excited. Pain in my ass because this is my, again, this is my, this will be slower for me because this is my non dominant hand that I'm using. My left hand to do my right hand. Uh, okay. So I'm going to get my cuticle pusher. I'm going to do my cover pink here and I'm going to pull out my other my clear. So I just go in with the cuticle pusher, try to get as much. So that makes a huge difference. Try to get that those bits and pieces there. I'm going ham on it. Okay. And I have Shave that down so I'm good with that. Is that acrylic white? It is acrylic white. Okay, I need the cover. So I'm gonna be all using all Mia secrets except the um the colored one is by I don't remember what this brand is. Hold on, the you. I'm going to show it to you here. Got crap all over the place. Where are my brushes at? Got to get my acrylic brushes. I'm going to use this one. And then I'm going to use... Oh my gosh. And really, it fell right into my bag. <sighs> okay. This brand. So this is the color I'm going to be using. It's in the color one. Let me shake it up a little bit. I did use a little bit of Mia Secrets in here. But I'm just going to have a straight pink with a little bit of encapsulation. This is what I used originally. So I'm going to use that too as well. And I only have one paper towel, so I'm going to make this work because I don't want to run to my car and get it. I'm going to take this, soak that, put this out of the way. All right. Forms. Do, do, do. June, Junette. Junette, sorry. Am I phone's kind of upside down and I'm not the best with my linguistics to be honest lingua <sighs> reading reading is fundamental um uh, okay nail prep okay this is nail primer do the to the dehydrator first I you always forget I think it's nail primer then. <sighs> I forgot what is it? It's nail dehydrator. 
a nail primer. Nail dehydrator. So I'm taking this nail dehydrator. Put it all over the nail. Letting that dry. Then I go in with the nail primer. Jesus Christ, you think it take forever. Okay, then it goes. Then on top of that, I got to make sure that this doesn't fall forward. There you go. Hopefully that doesn't fall. Beep, beep, boom. It's real quiet. I'm sorry I don't have music on because everything gets copyright stricken. And I just think that that's just a bunch of bullshit on here. And then I'm going to go in with um, my nail primer. I'm just going to put along the natural nail. That's the dehydrator has dried, and I'm just gonna go around here. I'm gonna do a little bit right there too. Why not? It's nail primer. And then I'm gonna go in. It's fine for any of them not to. It's, it's pretty much what it is. I mean, YouTube was not always like... I remember when they weren't doing all that craziness. Then they started doing that. Whoop, whoop, it flipped. Then they started... Sorry about that. It flipped. That's funny. It did like a full 180. And I put something on here and it was doing fine. And I screwed it up. That's why I'll fix it. Wow. Dizzy. So, yeah. It's one of those things where... You know, damned if you do, damned if you don't. I've even had contemplations of not abandoning the channel, but starting a brand new channel. Um, a lot of people during the great hiatus, during the great algorithm screw up four or five years ago, um, viewerships dropped. So it's a lot harder for up and comers to be um, successful on YouTube. It's not like it used to be. I'm not, I haven't had any new subscriptions lately. Uh, basically because of the algorithms. It's what they want uh, people to see. They, they'll let you see bigger YouTubers um, in the Google search, but the little ones, forget about it. It's just like, ooh, sorry, it, it fell over. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take this. It probably works out better this way, too, to be honest. Perfect. Look how pretty that sits right there, that faux nail there. So, um, I think I'm going to really make it narrow here because what I did with my last set, I made it a little thicker. So I'm going to really pinch it at the 13 and hopefully this gives me a really nice, uh, shape, the shape that I wanted originally. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. It was so different, so I stopped uploading. I'm trying to come back, right? It's it's really been, it's been. I'm gonna be honest. It's been a struggle, um, and it's not because I don't love my followers or anything else like that, um, or love the support. It's been amazing. It's just that the exposure. It's not fair. Certain people get certain favoritism. And you know what? And to be all, all honesty, a lot of the bigger YouTubers have also suffered too. Um, and they've been able to recoup a little bit or a lot of it. it. It's really hard for micro creators to become macro creators. You know what I mean? It's just, it's absolutely ridiculous. And it's like, it's, it's just not, not right. It's just not right. Use Instagram for cross promotion. I use Instagram. I use TikTok. I'm starting to get back in Pinterest. I have no idea how to use Snapchat. I'm going to try Snapchat. Instagram has been lagging. I've been pulling more people in through TikTok than I have through YouTube. So I'm starting to focus a little bit or a lot of bit more on TikTok. 
The lives are a lot more lively. Um, the feedback is a lot more intuitive. The um, the algorithms are a lot more friendly. Uh, you could, I'm getting more views than I ever have in 13 years than I have on, on TikTok than I have on YouTube. I'm starting to get, I'm getting a lot of massive growth on there, but I'm getting very minimum on YouTube. And a lot of times what a lot of these TikTokers are doing. So TikTokers are telling their people to go to their YouTube and they've gained a lot of mass following like that. If you don't mind, it's, it's Fab Jenny. It's the same username as my YouTube. So um, it's it's a struggle. I'm right there with you. And it's a big, I have really debated about, okay, should I start a new channel? Should I just stick to other social media? Is, is YouTube dead, dying out, overwhelmed, oversaturated, too picky, uh, Google's too money hungry? I mean, I'm trying to figure that out. So a lot of people that could have been discovered aren't being discovered. So what I'm going to do is do a, a clear layer first. Hopefully I don't screw this up. I'm going to do a clear layer before I do uh, any color layers. That's what I'm supposed to do. Hopefully I don't screw it up. Give me my monomer. So um, I love doing it, but a lot of times it takes to edit and then monitorize it. You have to get a certain subscribers before you can start monitorizing that. They didn't have that before. You know, you didn't have to be at a certain level. I was like, what in the hell did that start? So a lot of people who would love to start are, you know, they don't have a real hard incentive. And then you're investing this money into this equipment and you're not yielding any return. It's just a mess. It is just a mess. Okay, let's see. So it's Fab Jenny. I try to keep up on my, um, I'm starting to link my Insta and my TikTok together. Um, let's see, let's do this all the way up to the clear. Let's see if I got that bead right. Let's see. This is going to be fun. I'm trying to do it. Well, oop. well, it came off. I got a good bead. See what guideline I'm using. I'm gonna do it real slow so I do not have a weird shape at the end of this. Why are you not advertising your lives? Uh, advertising I did on this one I did I, I'm 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 monitorizing um, if that's what you're meaning I, I'm monitorizing as much as I can but again it depends on interactions the clicks the viewership how long people watch it uh, where they decide to place your ad all that stuff that absorb so I'm trying to figure out the what why and the where okay so if it's going cuticle wise that way that's a good bead my beads are getting better a little bit that's a big bead I shouldn't have done it so big I'm trying to figure it out, like, 
a lot of you too. It's not just me. It's some bigger ones. Micro. Many ones. Little ones. Big ones. All in between. Everybody was suffering. I remember a lot of people just stopped doing YouTube videos. So we lost a lot of really good content creators. You know. And then your revenue. The money you were getting. Like I don't mean to be personal or anything like that. But you know. Maybe I would get $100 every other month. And then it started to be $100 every five months. And I'm like, now it's starting to kind of pick back up. I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to be consistent. Um, I know foundations are kind of my niche. So I'm trying to stay within my niche too. But I also want to try different things like nails. So, you know, I got to be remember that too. That's a good bead. And I'm about to read your question. That's a little runny. Little runny. Okay, this is probably going to be like hella thick. Hella thick. Trying to get it up to the um, the 12. Usually I use gravity to kind of try to pull it down. But um, since I'm trying to show y'all. And I'm shaking and stuff. Shoot. Again, um, I did, if you just came into a live, this is my, I'm doing my right hand with my left hand. This is my non-dominant hand. So if I look a little crazy doing this because um, I don't usually, this is not my dominant hand I'm doing it with. This is the hardest hand to do. Tick tock and it don't stop. Okay, so I think that's about good. I don't want a thick, thick layer. Uh, this looks really good. Just going back, adding a little, kind of even that out. I'm letting that monomer seep in. I'm about to read your comments. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get this. Because acrylic likes to set super duper fast. So, um, ooh, that's good. Acrylic likes to set super duper fast. Also, I'm not really focusing on C-curve. That's not my concern. Um, that's a little bit later on when I can get a little If that tickles my fancy. I'll, I'll think about a C curve but until then it's like, yeah. Okay, sorry. I probably can't see that, but I'm trying to get trying to let gravity kind of do its thing so you're really supposed to just pat it down and kind of let itself level out okay so there it is it's clear I'm gonna let that set a little bit Okay, I like to use bigger brushes. It kind of goes a little quicker, but I like the smaller ones too. So anywhere from a 12 to 18 or whatever is usually good with me. So I'm going to put that to the side because I'll need that later to encapsulate. I suffered. Uh, you did? That just breaks my heart. Are you really beautiful? You helped me grow in my femininity. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Does my I'm going to change drastically on YouTube. It was... When I tell you it was like I wasn't because I wasn't going on it full time and doing it regularly. 
So I wasn't depending on, it was nice to have it there. I was like, you know, I would take the money and go and buy a foundation or something like that to put back into the, the witching call because I had a full-time job. So I wasn't consistent. So I can only imagine, I really do empathize with you because I really pissed me off that a lot of, from big to small suffered hugely, 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 hugely. And then they're trying to give you tips and pointers and you need to be more interactive and well, you know, it's kind of hard to do that when you're trying to pay the bills and maybe that was a good source of income for you. Now you got to figure out how to to promote yourself and how to change, you know, get a completely different revenue. Some people just didn't make it. Some people I've seen YouTubers change channels. They were at they were like their channel got so kicked in the in the butt so bad that they literally had to start a new channel. I'm like, like Destiny Godly was like that. I remember that broke my heart with Destiny Godly. She was one of my favorite YouTube. I still followed her on her new channel, but she struggled a lot. But thank God for her, she had other resources and hustled up. You know, she 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 had to, to make her way in another way. So she's not on YouTube anymore because that's not giving her, you know, her main source anymore. She's got to focus on her fitness channels doing really well. Her a uh, jewel makeup blender. I think she has like something like a makeup blender is doing very well. I follow her on her Instagram. Her Instagram's doing very well. So for her, she was able to bounce back like that. But a lot of people just didn't. And it takes time to sit down and edit and be consistent and you're responding to everybody's comments. It is a full time job, and they need to pay these people micro and um, macro. But I, I'm glad that I help you. Uh, Nan Shasha, how do you how do I say your name? You've always been here. Nan Nan Shasha. I'm glad that I can help you. And that's the reason I was like, I'm I don't really don't Destiny God was really big indeed back then. She was. And then she, I mean, she got on there and said, I'm suffering. Like I remember her making that video. She says, I have to start a new channel. So her thing just kind of, you know. It just disappeared. I didn't blame her. I could not get mad at her. Then there was African Export was another great one. I don't know even what happened at her. Non Shasha. Non Shasha. So, you know, I just, it was just, it was a mess. And I was like, a lot of people from big to small were highly affected. Unless you have millions of followers. You know, Michelle Fawn, she kind of disappeared before that. I used to watch her videos all the time. Her stuff was really good. And now the stuff that she posts... It's kind of like, you know, why invest if you're making your income somewhere else and you're living comfortably and you don't have to. It, it's sad that you, she, the invest the um, the time and quality has changed. It changes. It does change. You know, they got to go where the money is. They got to pay their bills. You know, and they put a lot of time and effort into their equipment and doing these edits and taking the time to buy this makeup. All right. Reaching out to get PR samples. It's a mess. It's absolutely a mess. And then you got to, these people got to pay their bills. I was like, they, they be playing too much. Okay. So this is, I always like to see that hard and pretty good. So what I do is I go in, woo, woo. And there you go. Holy hex. So what I'm going to do, whoa, that's sharp. That's a sharp nail. So what I'm going to do is probably go in. Usually I'll go in and, um, What I'm going to do is go in and uh, trim this down. I'm trying to think, I was like, what the heck? So it can be a whatchamacallit shape. So it breaks my heart. Um, so I'm I'm staying in the course, you know, I'm staying, I'm trying to do my best with what I got, you know, and be thankful. And I have some, there's some good, some amazing followers have been ride or die since the beginning. Ooh, that one looks pretty good. I think that is like extremely woohoo. Um, I may go in back in with the form a little bit and even that out to where it's a little bit thicker. Or I might just, yeah, I'll probably go back in with that. Because this part is like ideal. Oh, gosh. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go back in a little bit with the form with the clear to give it a little bit more shape. 
and then I'll go back in with the color because I don't want it to be stiletto sharp. And that's the thing with the forms. You got to figure out what um, when you pinch it, because when you pinch it, it's going to be really sharp. So I try not to over pinch it. And that's what I did this time to see. And um, I like the base of it. I just need this to be a little bit thicker. That's just personal preference. So, uh, it's not bad though. It's, it's really, woo, man, that would have been a fierce stiletto. So we, there's a lot of, I don't, there's some other people out there too that have just, some people who have, they, and God bless them. I really think if you could, you don't have, you make a source of income where you're not dependent on YouTube, like you've expanded beyond that. I'm all for that. Because it's YouTube is kind of like, it, I, I'm just waiting for the big, if they keep on going like this, they're not going to have a fresh flow of creators. Things are going to start going downhill. Then they got like a cable, like YouTube thing, they're charging 60 bucks. Are you serious? It's like YouTube is greedy as all get up. I said, and none of that's going to these content creators. They're going to give them a plaque and say, good job. Well done. Here, this is what I'll do. Here you go. So I'm going to pinch it again right here, but I'm going to keep it like this where it's a little fatter. Okay, I'm going in again. So, I mean, it's just, it, it does break my heart. I was like, and a lot of people suffered because of that. And now they have to have, find different forms, ways of income because, you know, Google wants to be greedy. Because they taking that money. God, they are not giving it back to these content creators. They sit up, they're pocketing that money. And this and they're making money off of these creators. And it's just, it ain't right. It just, it just is not right. Do do. But um I, I'm really loving TikTok. I think again, it's a lot more pure. I'm going to go back here. It's a lot more pure. Wow, that's really there, isn't it? Trying to baby these sides a little bit. There you go. That's way better. Make it a little bit more thickens. I'm just going to do a little. At a time, I'm going to go back in. this y'all can't see anything I'm doing it's kind of hard to show y'all and do it live too but I'm doing my best I got okay I see that got on I see where I didn't follow it Okay. Actually, the other side looks pretty decent. Okay, I ain't mad at it. That clear can sometimes be a little bit of a booger. A little bit of a booger. That is a very wet bead. But it is what it is. Mm. 
chasing it, which you're not supposed to do. Don't want to chase it. Chase it. Sorry, I'm quiet because I'm like making sure I'm getting that um, shape that I want. Put a little bit more on this side. Trying to follow those guidelines. Ooh, I got some acrylic stuck in here. Uh, try not to do that. Damn it. Okay. That's why I usually keep a little bit of acetone, which I'm not I think I'm not supposed to do. This is a bit of a process. I'm trying to follow the guidelines. I think I got it right there. Little itty bitties. So. I wonder if I can click on you and subscribe to you like I can do on TikTok. I wonder if it'll let me do that. Hold on. So I usually leave it at 12. I think that's really, really good, actually. Did I get it here? Yeah, I think I got it there a little bit. Dang. <laughs> Bus. My mom. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is get that shape that I want without it being too. That's extremely stiletto. I mean, I could do it that way, but I don't want the stiletto. I want it to be a little fatter. And then plus, I didn't follow the guidelines like I should have. So it's just me going back and correcting the stupidness that I did. That's it. So I can at least um, not use the form if I don't want to. I can just go ahead and put the color down. That's perfect, actually. Wonderful. Okay, and I got it at 11. I could take it all the way to 12. So might as well.
so so tmi here but my mom was over here yesterday and uh the day before so i picked her up saturday and she stayed till part of sunday and she's a little she suffers for a little bit of dementia brought on by a plethora of things but um when she gets in her um zone uh you know she's very insatiable it's hard to she's all over the place it's almost like a child or like a puppy or you got to keep the child very entertained or something like that my mom is very much like that and she had a episode and i could not rush her home fast enough so uh her water was off and i offered for her to come over and her perception of it was that we were going to have a kumbaya we were hanging out and i was going to stop everything i was doing to to sit up there and um have mother daughter time but i was you know i've got three kids i was like they we're doing our own thing we're in our own household this is kind of what we do you know this is our routine i just wanted to, you know i wanted to make sure she had running water which she does now and uh she wasn't too happy that i was wasn't giving her i guess the attention that, that she thought that was going to happen I don't, I don't know what she was thinking. So, um, she's got my kids kind of upset a little bit and it's just a mess. And I'm just, right now, I just, I'm on a timeout from her. Timeout. I was like, she okay. If something's wrong, then, uh, I will, my sister will call me. So, uh, I'll, I'll call her tomorrow. the day before or something like that day after i think that looks good okay um uh, mercy i feel like she was there before she grew her channel to one million within a year mercy gonna be a sin mercy i know her yes yeah, she didn't she have the tummy tuck your life is not in community meaning it was not advertised you look so young and now your kids are teenagers at least one that time flies i know right your live is not in community. Can you believe it? See, let me let me see. Let me see. Copy link. I wish it was I could send it to you could send it to Pinterest. You could send it to Wow, that's that's ain't that a beaten. I feel like she was there before before she grew her channel to 1 million within a year. So she wasn't she kind of I don't I remember I follow her. I don't uh I know was she the one Nansha Sha was she the one that um had the tummy tuck. Real pretty woman and she did a lot of wig reviews and stuff like that which I love, you know, cuz that's why I started following her. I like the way her hair looked. The meaning it was not advertised. So your live is not in community. Meaning it was not advertised. Wow, you look so young. And now your kids are teenagers. At least one. One is, I mean, one, the boy is almost six. Lee is 16. She'll be 17. Time flies when you're having fun. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. I'm not going to screw. That shape is a lot better. I think that's a lot better. Um... I want to practice using the clear and then going over it with a color. Yep, my uh, son's 12 and then my youngest is 10. And I still look young and I go back. I'm a little rounder in the face, my old videos. I'm a lot more thinner now, uh, thinned out. I've been, I'm trying to work out. I was going to do a whole nother channel about documenting my fitness journey. I still plan to do that because that's been a, a goal of mine. Um... And it's been a three-year goal, and I still haven't done it. I tried to do it, and then something what happened. I lost my password. It was a mess. So I've got a little bit of acrylic um, in here. What I would normally do is go in here. This is gross. Go in with uh, acetone and kind of clear that out. Um, I don't have any acetone readily available to me. This is gross. Let's see where uh, my poly gel stuff is at. 
Yeah, this is the acrylic from my last set. That's cute. Not cute. Wow, look at that. Wow. I mean, cute. that's just look like snot. That's just wrong. That's gross. That is nasty. Okay, well, um, let me see if I got another jar or something. Try to soak it in acetone because it won't apply the acrylic like you want. A lot of women on YouTube have 4A4B hair, so I, I cannot relate. If it is for familiar, she likes a lot of her. Um, Facebook's familiar. She talks a lot about her hair. And she's a mother of one. I don't know about the tummy tuck. Okay. I thought maybe she was another one. Um, your hair, please share. Um, if it is your hair, please. I always start off by telling people that um I don't do that to to be me. I'm trying to get people out of the routine to say if to me, if you buy it, whether you grow it, purchase it, biological, synthetic, it's your hair. But the way I achieve this look is uh synthetic. But my hair texture mimics this to a T. This is absolutely 120% my hair texture. Like if I left out my hair in the front here, um, right now you can't even tell because my hair is grown out. This is my hair texture. I have 4C hair to the max. Um, it's grown a lot with Jamaican castor oil big time. But to achieve this look, I use crochet. I said, but uh, I've been natural since I started this channel, that, that big chop uh, 13 years ago, 13 plus years ago. I am still uh, natural, but I do use a protective hairstyle, which is crochet. I use a crochet afro. Um, I will do a video, a better video showing you how I crochet. My hair length is half the size. Um, it's uh, a lot finer and um, it's growing hugely. Um, even if I had my hair this big, I would still probably use some kind of protective hairstyle. A lot of women on YouTube have 4A, 4B hair, so I so I cannot relate. Um, my daughter has 3C hair. My son has 3C, uh, 4A type hair. Um, some people, you know, everybody's got different texts. Some people have combination hair. So um, I like to, um, I've done dreads. I've crocheted dreads before. That's too much on my hair. It's very fine hair, even though it's very 4C. It's very fine. Um, and it's uh, it's very fragile. It breaks off easily. So I can't do braided extensions anymore. Not for a long period of time without it breaking off. So crochet has been my best friend. And it's allowed me to grow my hair out um, nicely. Let's see. Let's see. That looks way better. That's way better. <laughs> way better i may go in and put another form in just to catch the sides of that i'm gonna do that that's probably what i'll do practice with my forms okay so that's better um i still need to go in on the sides here and probably add some more but i can do that with the white um but i like the way that that looks that's way 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 better way better um We'll see. There's no telling. That's going to be a food for thought. Um, if I do do something major like that, I will put it out there big time. And um, I won't completely lock up the channel, but I would I would post a lot less. I will post enough to where y'all would know that I'd be at a different channel. If, if I decide to do that and see if that works. Um, if that changes things, like I don't know why it's not in community. I, it, I did post it live. So maybe it's afterwards. Maybe I did some. I don't know. There ain't no telling. There is no telling. YouTube, it just, they, they're like, mm-mm. You're right. If hair, it's the hair on your head, if it's your hair. When white people ask me questions like that, this is pure aggression because of their culture. This is a rude question. Exactly. What, what I hope to do on my TikToks, I'm really big on that. And I don't, 
attack people or anything. I just want people to get out of that mindset because you wouldn't ask a Caucasian woman that. You wouldn't ask a non-POC person that. Someone who is an African descent or African American, so on and so forth. Why do you feel like that that's okay? That's something that's, again, considered um, microaggression because we're seen as we we are the trendsetters, right? We we are, you know, we they they follow us, they they take our ideas, they build on it, but then they'll sit up there and they'll want to put us down. I was like, where they feel like it's okay. I feel like that is the mindset of them because they think that we are less than and that they're oh, they feel comfortable to ask that question. You shouldn't feel comfortable to ask that question. If you won't ask, uh the and Please don't take this person. Ling Ling, you wouldn't ask Maria that question. Why would you ask? Let me tell you, why would you ask a black woman that? A woman of color, a color that. A lot of non-POC people uh, are people who are POC. So like from my Latinos all the way down to, uh, you know, my women that are from Asian descent wear extensions. This isn't something new. I was like, it is normal. And they will tell you. I was like, I know plenty of people that wear extensions. They love it. They, there's a huge industry behind it, but yet they don't get questioned if that's their hair, but they question us and that makes no sense. So I'm trying to teach people to get out of that mindset. Um, I try to say, you know, ask somebody how they achieve the style. And I usually, I'm very honest. I say, hey, this is crochet. And this is my hair on my head. Um, and when people stop me in public, it just depends how they ask me. A lot of times I, I am very truthful. Other times, if it's really aggressive and you're yelling across the way at me, honking the horn at me and making me feel uncomfortable, I want to tell you, yeah, yes, I'm not going to go into detail about my hair. So I just decided that, you know, it's it's my world. I could tell you, yes, it is. And then you're going to say, no, it's not. Then don't ask me. If you know, you know the answer or you feel like you know what's right. There are plenty of women that have hair this big. And it's biologically theirs. And that's fine. I was like, and that's absolutely achievable. Can my hair biologically end up getting like this? Absolutely. Without a doubt. I was like, I just have to be consistent about it. My hair, you know, I just have to find uh, what works for me. I never say never. You can absolutely have 4C hair and have very long hair. It's, but I just don't understand that why people, uh, why specifically Anglo-Saxon people feel comfortable asking you about your hair. That makes no sense to me. It makes, it's very uncomfortable. It's very rude. Um, and you know what, believe it or not, uh, American black people are like that too, because they've just been so, um, I call it, we call it whitewashed. They've been so whitewashed. They don't believe that, that women, specifically African-American women, African women descent women can grow long hair. Uh, that uh, that European standard of beauty. I said, honey, I said from tribes all the way to Africa, they have it all the way down to their butt. I've seen all uh, Africans come in different colors, shapes and sizes and hair textures. They can be darkest of dark and have blue, blue, green eyes and hair down to their ass. I was like, that's just what they, they, oh, well, there's just no way. I was like, why would you think that? I was like, there's plenty of women who wear extensions and wigs who have hair down to their butt, but that's, they, they like to change their hair a lot, you know, and that's their choice. Okay. Let's see how this shit's going to go. Oh boy. Cause I'm supposed to, Ooh. This one on pretty smooth. Usually it doesn't go on super smooth. Actually, I like that. I like it like that. Okay, I'm putting on the white, white pink. I forgot to open up the damn glitter. But this sets really slow. And I might go in with another round of pink. So, uh, I just do not get that. Why people feel like it. My daughter calls them colonizers. I said pretty much uh, that they feel like that that's okay. That's not okay. You touching my hair, you asking me stuff. It's like me coming up to them and saying, hey, Becky, hey, Karen, Um, you know, are those your boobs? Like, you wouldn't, like, what? Are those your boobs? I was like, 
wow. I was like, you know what? This old girl paid for it. I was like, it is hers. I said, by definition, but why would somebody feel comfortable? You should never feel comfortable asking somebody that. That's crazy to me. Okay, so I put some glitter on that. Let's see what this is going to look like. Let me go in with. Ooh, with the sniffles. I just could never understand that. See, YouTube be doing a number. They don't, they only want to promote who they want to promote. It's just, and it's, it's, black creators are the ones that suffer the most. But yet they'll sit up there and they'll, they'll copy off of us dances, hairstyles, hair techniques, like the satin bonnet. I was dying. There's a advert or a video going around of, of a white woman, Caucasian woman, sitting up here advertising. Oh, I don't, you know what the secret is to me not having hair breakage? Satin pillows and, and bonnets. They don't call it a bonnet. They call it something else. I was like, bitch, that's a bonnet. I said, black woman been doing that. Sorry, excuse my language. Well, when black woman been doing a bonnet since God, Jesus was a baby. I was like, we've been doing that for, honey, we used to put underwear on our hair, okay? I said, we did satin pillows and we our panties on our head. Keep our hair styled, please. I was like, that is nothing new and innovative, honey. That is nothing new and innovative. Okay, so I think that's enough pink. I'm going to do a little bit more pink in here, actually. Sorry. So I'm sitting up here ranting on about that. Just irritates the holy bejesus out of me. And then they they demonize us for having our hair out. So that's why I'm a real proponent of people signing the CARES Act. So it can be illegal to discriminate against hair texture, hair textures, protective hairstyles. Uh, my pat my job gave me hell. My job literally gave me hell when I was working there. I do not work there anymore because I was tired. I was tired. I was like, I'm getting old and I'm not, I'm not happy with myself. I was like, this, uh, my family life is suffering over these people because they, they, I have to, to submit to what, what their ideal of beauty is. But it'd be the first one to ask me about my damn hair. Are you right? If your hair is on your, it is on your head. I'll say, sorry. Um, Sammy, hey gorgeous queen, how are you? Hey Sammy, how are you doing? I tell them straight straight to their face now. I act razzy when they act act crazy and only back up and leave when they outnumber me. Wow, really? I was like they out Sammy, that's good. I'm glad you're doing good. They they gang up on you? I just I don't get I don't get that. It just it don't make sense. I'm almost finished with this nail, I think. I did an ombre to it, so hopefully it comes out okay. We'll see. We'll see. It looks like it. What the heck? That is going to pain me. I'm trying to catch these itty bitties. Hey, Sammy, did I pop up in your feed? I was just talking um, about how somebody was saying I'm not showing up on stuff. So on the thing, I'm just uh, trying to um, fix my broken nail that my dog broke off. But my mom was making a fuss and I was trying to get her home and I was in pain driving because my nail had broken off. But thank God he didn't lift up the nail. Okay, I'm going to do this and I'm going to go in the pink. I'm trying to fill in the gaps so it doesn't look so narrow. There you go. Okay. Hopefully, 
thanks for I'm good. Thanks for asking. Yeah, you showed up. Okay, I'm trying to my YouTube channel is kind of struggling a little bit. Um, that's why I love my TikTok so much. It's just easier. Uh, Sammy, you've been awesome. I see you on my Insta. I see you uh, all the support. Uh, TikTok goes hard, man. I was like, so, and I've had some people on here that have been following me for years, and they've just been so loving and so supporting, and I'm trying to figure out the what and the why, um, and TikTok's been phenomenal, um, just absolutely freaking phenomenal about uh, helping with my Instagram. My Instagram hadn't been moving in years, sorry, that's... I kind of wish I had that cover beige, beige color. This is really, really pink. So I was like, this is really, really pink. Kind of go in with a little bit more of that white. So I got to go back and I still have to... Um, encapsulate this okay I think that's enough of the pink <laughs> I'm like and that's enough and I'll go in that's actually really good I'm not gonna go really deep into that cuticle simply because um, I'm gonna be doing some encapsulating and then I'm gonna be taking this off in another week or so so I don't have to be extremely close to cuticle and you never disappoint. You deserve my my love and support. And uh, you never disappoint me. Thank you so much. I tell them straight to their face. Of course, I also play Becky. Ask them stupid questions. Ask you stupid questions. I only back up and leave when they're outnumbered. If they ask me stupid questions, I ask them stupid questions. I also cry and roll on the floor the way they do. Caribbeans taught me that. And now it's automatic. I don't act logical. And when someone is illogical, I also hide behind a white man to shield me. I love you. I love you. That's hilarious. You like beat them at their own game, right? Oh my God, I'm in tears. That is hilarious. Oh my God. So that's my finger. She's like, I screamed. I said, give it to him. Give it how they deal it out, acting like a bunch. Ask it. What somebody you said to me, stupid games when you stupid prizes. And that stuck with me. I was like, stupid games when you stupid prizes. And I was just in hysterics when I heard that. I loved it because it's the truth. You're going to ask me, stupid, why, why are you going to do, do something like that? Oh my gosh, people are so crazy. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to encapsulate this. I need some more monomer. I cannot see that. Holy shit, that's a lot. I'm like, holy crap. It's hard to do this because I have to try to go with. With the nail so I don't have to do a lot of sanding. That is a pain in my butt. It will make my nail really raw. Said I go quick. I said I give them, give them what they give out. Acting like a get Becky on them. That's right. It was so fucking. Excuse me. It's so stupid. It's like I just the audacity, the sheer audacity. And you know people, you know they, you know people don't learn that because uh, they learn that from the they society. They learn that from their parents. They learn that that's okay. And that's not okay. Children are really innocent. They're the sweetest little children born in this world. They don't see color. 
They really don't. I said, there's innocence in their eyes. I said, the most innocent stares that I get are from children. They don't give me weird, ugly looking stares. They just give me just kind of like, wow, that's just big hair. They don't sit up there and go like, is that hers? And what's going on with that? And, you know, they just, they're just like curious. Like, you know, or they're like, oh, that's big hair. You know, I was like, I don't, that doesn't bother me. That's just, and children are just very, very sweet. And this generation of kids are very, actually very loving and supporting. And they, they love the hair. I was like, I get more, I've never had a child walk up to me and ask me if that was my hair. They never did that. They never did it. Because children, you know, if they're, they're not going to do, they're not thinking about that. They just like the hair. They just like what they like. So it's kind of good to see our generation is kind of growing up to be better about that. So I got to teach my daughter that it's not okay for any, a young woman, young man to come up and start touching her hair. Somebody touched her hair. She didn't know who touched it. I was like, well, if that continues, we need to put a, a stop to it. You're not a, a petting toy. Petting zoo. Like, it's a, like, what the heck? People are crazy. People are crazy. Okay, this is just going to be a nightmare on this brush. I am so sorry that I'm not getting this on detail, but. I don't want to put too much clear on this because I have to sand it down. Just fine. Actually, I didn't really have to put clear on the pink. I could have just let it be. Okay, so I think I'm overall okay with this. Yee, yee. So I did this in the ombre style. I'm very happy. I'm done. I'm not going to put too much on this. Again, this is one of those fingers that I'm going to take off. These nails are going to be coming off, and I'm going to do green, green nails. Um, I need new monomer, and I need to order some colored acrylic, but it's good practice for me. I need to practice, and I couldn't go out in public going like this looking weird, so I, I wanted to um, at least get a YouTube video out. Not bad. Um, you see it's lumpy bumpy there. I, I would go back and add more, but it's I wanted to kind of thin out here. I really probably should go back and add a little bit more to the apex just so that way it's a little bit stronger there. But I did put a lot of pink there, so I'm not too worried about it. But that is the nail, and that is a ombre French. Um, and I will go in and sand that. I'm not going to kill torture y'all with that um, in, in that live. But I just kind of wanted to show you a little bit of the process. So um, it looks pretty good. Hopefully it sands down pretty good too. So that's it for my, it was an hour and 28 minutes. Lord for one finger. I need to get better. Um, and then I was yapping and I wasn't all together too. Um, I really appreciate you joining my lives. And um, I do want to sit down and have a open discussion. Kind of with the, the future of this channel. I do like doing the makeup stuff. Um, the foundation stuff. I want to make higher quality videos for y'all, more like editorial or uh, cinematic. So I'm trying to figure out would it be best to have longer editing time so I can get the right picture. And um, since my channel isn't like, I want to stick to once a week, but like a higher quality video every other week. And then maybe a live or a short little uh, video on something um, and then have a high quality one a week later. So I haven't decided yet uh, because editing takes a little bit of time um, and uh, so on and so forth. Look at that. So whoop, whoop. give them the finger. I should have went in there with the pink, but that's OK. I ain't tripping. Not tripping. So I'm I'm, I'm going to recalculate, re um calibrate because quintessentially this is my full-time job um but it's not it's one of my one of my little things that i do but it's not the main thing that i'm um focusing on i'm focusing i really am more leaning towards tiktok um a lot better i'm getting a lot of feedback good negative and indifferent 
um, and it's a little, I'm getting a lot more exposure than I ever have on YouTube. So i um, trying to capitalize on that as much as possible. Not saying that I get money for that, but um, exposure, uh, possible growth with Instagram and YouTube, it will be beneficial to focus a little bit more time on my um, TikTok than it would be my um, uh, my TikTok than I with, with my YouTube. So I may follow that schedule where I post once a week, do kind of a chill video one week, and then the next week I do a little bit more editorial because that takes a little time to capture all those films and videos and everything. And then that way that will also allow me to focus a lot more on my TikToks where I'll be able to post once, twice a week, three times a week. It's a little bit quicker depending on what look I'm doing, if I'm doing a type of cosplay or a beauty look or something like that. So I may focus a little bit more on that so that way I can boost my other social media. So Anyway, that's it for my live. I really appreciate everybody coming in. Um, thanks for the thumbs up. Uh, thanks for the feedback. I have fun and I will see you in the next one. Thanks. See you later. Bye.